Well, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about Dior. So as many of you guys know, Dior launched new bronzers. And it must be a year of bronzers because so many brands are launching new bronzers. I'm kind of here for it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so what was interesting about this launch is that they are currently available on the Neiman Marcus website. If I find them anywhere else, of course, I will leave them linked in the description box down below. I haven't really searched for them since I bought them. So I don't know if they're available anywhere else. On the Neiman Marcus website, the only shades that are available are five, six, seven, and eight. So there's only four shades currently available on the Neiman Marcus. I'm not sure why, but like I said, if I find these other places, I will link them. So I went ahead and grabbed two shades of these bronzers. So I picked up the shade six amber bronze, which is this one. And then I picked up seven golden bronze, which is, which is this one. Now, number five, is warm bronze and it is for medium to golden skin and i could have probably picked up five but i know summer's coming and i know that when it becomes summer and i'm gonna have a tan i wanted to have the darker shade so i decided not to get five and i got seven instead because you guys know i love a warm bronzer like i live for a warm bronzer i have very warm skin and I live for a warm bronzer. So I wanted to see how the amber would work. I wanted to see how number six would work. So I decided to grab them both. And I will, of course, swatch these next to a bunch of other bronzers that I have in my collection. You guys know I like to give you as much information as I possibly can so that you can make a very educated decision when buying makeup. There's a lot of makeup. And, and it seems like every time we turn around, more brands are bringing out more makeup. And I like to be as detailed and thorough as I possibly can so that you can make a very educated decision when spending your hard-earned money on makeup. And so even though swatches take a really long time, they are, I mean, sometimes it's like two hours. It depends on what I'm swatching. But in my opinion, that extra time is worth it for you guys so that you know exactly what you're buying because nothing's worse than picking up a shade in something and getting it and being excited and then realizing that you already have it in something else. And I feel like, you know, the more that makeup comes out and the and the more that we're buying, that is going to happen more and more now more frequently. So I will definitely give you guys all of the swatches that I can from these two shades next to other products that I have in my collection. And then, of course, if you're new to my channel, a welcome. I will also leave a list in the description box down below of popular foundations on the market and what shades I wear in those foundations so you can kind of use it as a guide so that you're seeing the way that these bronzers apply on my skin and you can use it to kind of decide how it will apply on your skin. So the details on these bronzers, these are $48. You get nine grams worth of product and they are made in Italy. Thanks to its formula enriched with 95% mineral origin pigments, the Dior Powder Bronzer blends seamlessly with the skin to create a natural, healthy glow finish. It's infused with wild pansy extract. It is comfortable and helps keep the skin's natural hydration. It is a powder bronzer for a sun-kissed complexion with a healthy glow effect. It is soft and lightweight. It blends with the skin for a natural long wear result. Packaging on this is very small and kind of thin, which I kind of like. So for example, if you compare it to the Gucci, now don't get me wrong, the Gucci has a little brush down inside. So if you have the Gucci bronzer, you will know that you open it up and it has a brush down inside. So there's no brush inside of here, by the way. And in the Gucci, you get 12 grams worth of product. The Dior, you get nine, just by the way. So look at this. This is the size of these compared to like the Gucci. You can see it's a little thinner. Uh, and I really like how small they are. I really do. Uh, especially as you get more makeup, you like just the smaller packaging. It's just a little bit easier to kind of keep in there. So when I bought these bronzers, I decided that would be a perfect time for me to discuss this powder. So I bought this, I would say early February. I've only used it a few times. So I wanted to give you my experience. This is their new forever cushion powder from Dior. I bought this on the Selfridges website. I want to say I bought it early February, but I could be wrong, but I, I believe I bought it early February. And this retails for $53 on the Selfridges website. So they come in five 
five different shades. So you can get fair, light, medium, or deep, or you can also get the shade lavender. So I picked up the shade medium. The description on this, it's the first loose powder that sets makeup and gives the complexion a subtle velvety glow with no powdery effect. Housed in a travel friendly couture case, this loose powder with a fresh and silky texture works in harmony with the skin tone to achieve an even matte and naturally vibrant complexion in any situation. It's infused with water and formulated with wild pansy extract. The loose powder respects the skin and improves the quality of the complexion. And this loose powder is perfect for on the go. And it also features the quilted lid, just like these powders. Now you get 10 grams worth of product. And like I said, this I paid $53 for on the Selfridges website. So I'm gonna use this powder on camera and give you my experience with it. I've only used it a few times, but I kind of do know how it wears. So that's what we're talking about in today's video. It's all about Dior. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the applications. Of course, I will get into the swatches of these bronzers next to a multiple bronzers I have in my collection so that you can get a good idea about these shades and if they are something that you really need in your collection. And then of course, I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. So we have new bronzers from Dior and I've already opened them. I had to, I've already touched them. I had to, I was on Marco with Mel. So I was like, look how pretty these are. Okay. The packaging is so beautiful. It's got this like pillow cushiony. Oh, it's amazing. 07 is golden bronze, which is the reason why I bought it. So this is golden bronze, which it looks pretty dark in the pan. But when I swatched it, it's not quite as dark as it seems. Uh, and I got shade six, which is amber bronze. But this one is a little bit more on, this one's a little bit more on the cooler tone side. It's got a tiny bit of grayness to it. Let's check these out. Ooh, that, 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 that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Whew. These are soft, soft, buttery, buttery little bronzers. Okay, this is 07 Golden Bronze. This is 06 Amber Bronze. So this one is definitely, it's a little bit more cool toned, but it's not super, super gray. So it has a gray base, but it's not too gray. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. And I need to calm down because I'm kind of excited. So these are the exact same brushes. This is the refer number five. And I've brushed them over a towel to kind of get any of the, you know, extra makeup residue off. We're just going to have to make it work. Okay, so we're going to go in with seven golden bronze on this side. Now, I don't know how pigmented it is, so I'm going to tap off and just go in very lightly. that's like one application bronzed up the face looks very beautiful and what I can tell you is the formula is butter flat out butter this is beautiful that was one layer oh it's so pretty I love the warmth I live for a warm bronzer I live for it now, I don't like it too orange but this is like the perfect color and it is very similar to the Gucci the number four so this is very similar to this shade of course, I'll swatch it, um, but the formula is very buttery, just like the Gucci, so that's good news. Okay, I'm going to switch to this brush, and I'm going to go into number six, which is Amber Bronze. I've applied it like three times now, trying to get it to kind of like show up. Um, this one is not as uh, visible on my skin tone. 
and it just could be because of the undertone but I will say even though I've had to go into it a few times it is being very it's easy to build so I've only had that opened for two minutes and the mirror's already dirty um okay so even though I had to go into that about three times to get it to build I was able to build it without it getting heavy or weird in any places but for me this golden stuff just I live for it I live for a golden bronze this is probably maybe better in like photographs or it gives you more of like a chiseled cheek look I mean that's kind of what it reminds me of so this is like more photograph more contoured look this is just like summer warmth I've just been in the sun and I am living if you're close to my skin tone and you're trying to decide which one you want between these two shades it depends on what you're looking for if you love the warmth you will love this shade the number seven but if you like something that's just a little bit softer and uh this is i would say it has a gray red base so even though it's a little gray toned it does have a little bit of red in it so it is kind of uh softer on the skin even if you have a warm complexion like i do and you don't like a lot of the warmth this is going to be your perfect shade the number six i think it depends on your undertone and what you love and prefer in a bronzer color if you love a warmth you'll love the number seven if you like just a little bit more of a cool toned uh effect to the skin then you will love the number six but for me personally this is like heavenly but i will say though this is really beautiful i mean i built this up three times and it just is so easy to blend and like it's such a soft buttery texture that you can't mess this up like you can't mess up this formula uh it's very similar to the wayne goss the new bronzer from wayne goss but the wayne goss has a little bit of radiance to it it's really beautiful uh but it just depends on what undertone you like let's try the new powder it comes like this and it has the little pouch thing right here the little powder puff and then you open this and that's where the powder is i do like how this shuts the one thing I do not like when you're when you have a powder that it has a powder puff with it, I don't like how the powder puff has to be stored directly on top of the powder. I like that there is something that will separate the two from touching each other. And I think it's just because it kind of becomes a waste. Like the powder puff starts to get so much on there that when you go to use it, you go to dip down into it and the powder puff already has so much in it from being in storage that it just becomes too much. So I love that there is a separation between these two. I might use the powder puff like right here in the center of the face, but then maybe use a brush all over everywhere else. So I'm just gonna grab what's on the lid here. I mean that mattifies right look at that like no shine my friends none so it depends on if you like more of a mattifying effect to the skin I'm gonna grab a little bit here with my brush That is a thicker powder and that is a very mattifying powder for me anyways based on my experience with powder i want to start this off by saying i'm not that experienced with powder i just started using powder i would say maybe a year ago and i used the hourglass translucent setting powder for so long and the charlotte tilbury uh airbrush falls finishing powder i never really had a need to kind of step out of that because those two are still my favorites but i have kind of pulled away trying to kind of test new powders but i'm not a pro with powders like i would say like mel like she's so experienced in powders and she really knows the textures of them and you know how well they perform for me i'm just kind of learning from me not knowing a lot about powder i can tell you that this is pretty mattifying but what i am going to do is i'm going to spray some setting spray so i want to see what this will look like once i set it you know because sometimes powders can look pretty mattifying and then once you spray some setting spray on it will kind of like melt it into the skin i'm almost out of this continuing setting spray but don't worry i got like three more bottles 
It's my favorite. I love the Morphe Continuing Setting Spray. Okay, so that powder blended and like melted into my skin using the setting spray. I think that looks really beautiful. So this powder can be matte or you can make it a little bit more natural once you use a setting spray to kind of melt it in. It just kind of depends. But let's go in with a brush and see what this will look like. You know how I always take this little brush and go right here in this area uh, with my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder? I'm gonna grab a little bit more right here and I'm just gonna stick it right here and see how it looks. See how it mattifies? See there's a little shine right here and then this just kind of, so this is definitely a more mattifying powder. I would say this is a thicker texture than the uh, translucent setting powder from Hourglass. I think the Hourglass one is not quite as thick. Now I do think the shade medium does work for my skin tone, but if you're a light medium, I wouldn't use this shade. I feel like this shade might be too dark for you. If you're like, if you're in the medium category, but you're on the lighter end of the medium, this might be too dark for you. So that's it for the application of these products. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons. And then of course I will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. These bronzers are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Now, if you're in the market for a new bronzer and you want something that's very soft, you will not be disappointed. Now, don't ask me to tell you whether I like this formula or the Gucci <laughs> because they're very similar, very, very similar. They're very similar in the way that they apply. They're very similar in the way that they swatch, the way they feel, very buttery, very beautiful. And I love them both. I really, really do. In fact, as I was swatching, I was like, oh my gosh, like this formula is so, so similar to the Gucci. I'm sure you saw in the swatches that this is the Gucci, this is the Dior. And this is the Gucci number four. So this is Gucci four. The Dior is just a tad bit darker, but they're so similar, right? So similar. And I would tell you the only difference between them is I would say the Gucci might have a little bit, just a little bit more of a radiant effect than the Dior, but not much. Like it's not much, it's a small amount, but they're very similar in the way that they apply and the way that they blend and they're very beautiful. So I guess I'm here to tell you, if you already have the Gucci, you probably don't need these from Dior, uh, just because they're so similar. If you're wanting to buy these and you like the Gucci formula, you will love these from Dior. I cannot, I, I cannot say that enough. You will love them. They are beautiful. I don't have one negative thing to say about these bronzers. They are absolutely gorgeous and they blend and melt into the skin in such a beautiful way. I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready for the beach. And yes, I definitely 100% prefer this shade, which is the seven uh, golden bronze because it's golden and I'm here for the gold. Uh, but it all depends on what color works best for your skin tone, obviously. But I'm obsessed with this. If you're my skin tone and you like a golden color, you will not be disappointed in seven. It's beautiful. These bronzers are gorgeous and they're coming hard for Gucci. Oh boy, they're coming hard for Gucci. Coming in hard for Gucci. They're five out of a five beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the Dior powder. So like I mentioned in the application, this is a more mattifying powder. However, you saw that when I used a setting spray and kind of melted it into the skin, it became more of a natural versus a matte, but this is a matte powder. So if you're somebody that has dry skin, I don't know that I would recommend this. I would probably recommend the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder over this for dry skin. But if you have normal skin 
or combo or even oily and you're wanting something that's a little bit more if you have oily skin and you're wanting something that's a little bit more natural I think you would like this matte I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's Huda Beauty matte uh you know how Huda Beauty is pretty matte I would say this is a similar formula to maybe the Laura Mercier uh it gives you the matte but it can also be very natural at the same time this is a really beautiful powder though I in fact was very very impressed with the fact that it didn't get kind of thick and cakey I don't like a super matte powder right so matte powders are not my friend I'm like more of a natural powder and this for me once I set it it is a more natural powder and I like this uh, I will continue to kind of use it and play around with it and give you guys you know an update but overall I haven't had a bad experience with it I do think it's a really good powder it's gonna have to be something that will work with your skin type and what you're needing out of a loose setting powder I do think it's more mattifying than the hourglass translucent setting powder so like I said if you're dry skinned the hourglass is definitely going to be a better option than this uh, but I do feel like this would be perfect for like normal combo skin and I love it once I put some setting spray over it I think it's beautiful uh, but I wouldn't recommend it for dry skin so I hope that this was helpful like I said I'm not the best I'm still not fully familiar with powder I'm learning I'm in like the early elementary days of powder and I can tell you that I do not absolutely like that Chanel powder I have I've tried this Chanel powder so many times and we are just not friends this F's my makeup up every single time I use it we are not friends those are my overall thoughts sound off down below in the comment section let us know have you tried this powder from Dior because it's been out for a minute let us know your skin type and how you like this if you like it or do you not like it I personally really like it I'm kind of excited to kind of continue to use it but sound out down below in the comment section and let us know thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video love you bye